after you've gone through the startup wizard, you may be wondering what's next. I'm going to show you in this video what some of those next steps might be for you. So to get started, I'm just going to go and add my logo to my account. And to do that, we'll go into Marketing, Logo and Branding, and then here we can select our logo. Browse out to your logo, select the file, and click Open, and then go to the bottom of the page here and submit your images. You can also add additional images, such as your splash screen image, your watermark image, and any other images that you'd like to help with your branding. But for now, we're just going to keep it at the logo, and we're going to go on to the next step. So the next step is that we're going to go into our Selling tab and into the Purchase Options to add any additional options that we might like here. These are the options that were added automatically when we went through the Startup Wizard. You can change those by just clicking the Edit Pencil next to them, or you can rearrange them by dragging and dropping them where you want them to be, or you can add new ones. We're going to say create new, and instead of creating just a standard print size, I'm going to create a single image product. The product I'm going to create is going to be an 8x12 canvas. We'll give it a short description. Thick museum canvas wrapped around a one and a half inch hickory frame. I'm going to hit save that, and here we can see it added as an option here. So for now, that's all we're going to do, but you can come in here and add as many different print sizes or purchase options as you'd like. Once we're done adding all the options and sizes that we'd like, we're going to go ahead and make sure that the prices are set up how we want them to be. So we'll click into selling, go into prices, shipping, and tax, go to our pricing sheet, and then this original pricing sheet was created when we finished the wizard as well, but we're going to go into there by clicking on it. We can check our prices add a price to the 8x12 canvas that we just created. And then if you want to compare your prices to any labs that are in your area, we can click this display lab pricing option here. Select a lab. It'll show you the pricing for their luster prints that match these sizes. And you can even auto select the pricing for those images. If you want to mark up your prices by 300%, just select 300. It'll automatically put those prices 300% higher than with the labs charging you here. Go ahead and save our pricing at the bottom. And the next step is we're just going to go ahead and create a gallery and upload some images. So to do that, we we'll go into our photos, into the galleries, create a gallery, and then give the gallery a name. We'll just call this one Johnson Wedding. Select the gallery type. Select the shoot date. Add a password if you'd like. We're going to leave that blank activate it, you can choose either yes to activate it, no to manually activate it later, or no to schedule a future date. We're going to say no schedule a future date. You can select the date here that you'd like, and then save your changes. Once the gallery has been created, you'll be given the option to upload photos or edit the gallery settings. We're just going to go ahead and upload photos. And here we are in the photo upload area. We can either drag and drop our images here, or we can click this button here to select our images. I'm just going to go ahead and drop some images into here. It adds all the images. And then you can click the Upload button, and it'll tell you that you need to select a category. So we're going to go ahead and select a category for the images. Since there's no category in this gallery, I'm going to create a new category. Call this Kids, because those are the images that I'm uploading. Select that option. Click Upload Selected Images. Now the images will upload. You'll see the progress here and here. As soon as they're done, you'll get this message showing that the images have been uploaded. And you can either upload more or view the uploaded images. I'm going to click View Uploaded Images. And at the top of the page, you'll see a processing notice that's telling you that your images are currently in the processing queue. If you scroll, you can see also that these say images being processed. This notice here will go down automatically as the images are processed. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward to when these images are finished. The images are now finished being processed. The message goes away. And if we refresh the page, then we can see each of the images that were uploaded. Now that the images have been uploaded and processed, we're going to select one of the images to be the featured image for this gallery. I'm just going to go ahead and select this one here. Select Actions. Set Gallery Featured. I'm going to select a focus point. You can display your preview to see what that might look like. If it looks good, go ahead and close it, save it. And that image is now the featured image for the gallery. Now let's go ahead and head back into our regular gallery list. And originally we set this gallery to be automatically activated tomorrow, but let's go ahead and activate it right now. Scroll down, 
Instead of schedule for a future date, we're going to say allow visitor access. Click save. And now the screen icon here indicates that it's currently active and view being viewed on your website. If we click the gear icon over here, we can say view as a client and it'll pull up our gallery for us. We'll click to add our email address. And we'll view the event. All the images are currently being displayed. If you click on any of the images, you can view it larger. Now in these examples, you'll see this copyright notice. We can get rid of the copyright notice if you'd like by going into the Photos Preferences page. In the Photos Preferences page, we'll go down to the Photo Display. We'll take off all the watermark preferences here. And we'll save that. And now if we go back and refresh the page on our gallery, the images are displayed without the watermarks. Now that your gallery is displayed and your clients can see everything, you can see that there's no purchase options here. The purchase options can only display once you've set up Stripe to be your merchant processor. And to do that, we'll go into um, our company information page here, into the account details. Scroll to the bottom of the page, click connect with Stripe, and then go through the little setup process to do that. Once your account has been connected with Stripe, the purchase options will display on your storefront and your clients can begin purchasing the images and the money will come to your Stripe account. And that's it. That's how you get started on your account. Hopefully that's helpful. If you have any other questions, you can shoot us an email at support at instaproofs.com.